What is up everyone? I am continuing this drawing of Kevin Durant. Feel free to ask me anything, like always. Actually, give me a sec. Do this. I'm gonna polish this right here a little bit first before I move up to the other parts.
Hey, what is up? Nice to see you again. Thanks for watching me uh, draw again. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> As always, feel free to ask me any question. Nah, thanks. <laughs> you just um, you just gotta put in the time. I mean, once you know you know how everything goes and um, you understand the concept, you understand everything. When once you um, you realize this is how things are supposed to uh, to go, and then. It's really not that hard, it's just very time consuming. A lot of people just don't have that um, vision, so... Yeah, it, once you get that vision, you know... You, and then it's, it's really not that hard, you just, it's just a matter of time. Oh yeah? The thing is uh, about Photoshop, right? I, I, I do know how to put grids on it, but like, I could not save it with grids. So I have to like uh, print screen it and uh, paste it to a paint document. I, I wish I knew how to like, save it with grids on. But it's okay, I mean, it um, doesn't make that much difference. I mean, after all, uh, grids is um, it's like a guideline for um, getting the placement and proportion. After your drawing is done, you, 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 you should erase the grids and your, your finished drawing should have 
no grits on it. Yeah, uh, draw grease really help. It's it's gonna save you a lot of troubles later on. So you like uh, drawing also, huh? I can see uh, you, you, you have uh, passion and patience. Since uh, a lot of people like watch my streams, right? They, they don't stay for a long time, okay? They just don't have the, you know, passion and to watch me draw, you know, this, at this rate. Because I draw pretty slow. I mean, I admit it, but that's the way to do things, you know. Cool. Yeah, I mean... For drawing, you don't really need like a whole lot of tools like compared to painting or uh, any other mediums uh, Drawing, you really need like just this, you know, few tools You don't need a whole lot And that's why um, one of the reasons why I uh, like drawings and it's uh, very easily access you know you, like everyone can I think everyone has uh, some kind of pencil in the house I'm pretty sure although it might not be you know some high quality pencil but I think everyone has pencil and paper that is so easily accessible Unless, you know, you are super poor. <laughs> it's not like painting that you have to like purposely go to the shop and you know, the store to buy paint. Drawing, everyone can pick up a pencil and paper and draw. And uh, if you're good enough, then you, even though you're using just normal pencil and paper, you can still draw something pretty decent if, if you're good at drawing. Of course, um, you know, for, uh, for, for, uh, for professional use and, you know, 
then you have to get some, you know, a higher quality pencil and paper. Um, no, I'm actually not a uh, big sport uh, fan, at least not American sports, because uh, I don't really like American sports to be honest. <laughs> no offense though, okay, no offense, but it's just my personal opinion, I just, I just don't really like uh, American sports, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just not my cup of tea. The reason why I'm drawing this uh, as well as, you know, the other two, you know, the Golden State Warrior Trial is because my friend told me to. And, you know, right now I really don't have anything in my mind that I really, really wanted to draw. So, yeah, I'm kind of doing this because my friend told me to. Um, when I was little, you know, yeah, but right now I don't really watch soccer. The only sport I, I, I would do myself right now is probably ice skating. And I don't really watch sports anymore because I... Ping pong used to be my favorite sport since I'm Chinese, so... I think more majority of the Chinese, uh, you know, loves ping pong and you know, and relative, relatively good. But even ping pong, you know, nowadays I don't play it as much as I used to, and I don't really watch it. I don't know, man. I I just it's just not. I just don't like it as much as I used to, and and you know, anymore. And soccer, I okay, no offense, but. I feel like everyone is like, at least um, most of them, like, I think they're like acting, you know? Like all the fake injuries and, and stuff, you know? Somebody touches you, you know, the guy and the guy just, just fell and then like holding his leg and, you know, it, it's all acting, you know? So I, I just... I don't feel like it's really that entertaining to watch. <laughs> no offense, man, but it's just not my cup of tea. I kind of like uh, hotkeys though, because I like ice skating. <laughs> but but even that, I don't really watch it. At least I don't, you know, um, purposely go on TV and watch it. You know, I don't do that.
Again, no offense, but it's just not my cup of tea. Uh, how many hours I draw? Like a week or something? I mean, I because when I draw, right now when I draw something, it it, it doesn't matter. It just it take as long as you need. <laughs> That, that's my answer. So I don't, I don't like set myself a time. Oh, I gotta, you know, put uh, ten hours on this and no less, no more. I don't do that. So everything I draw, I just, I just uh, spend as much time as you need. And uh, if you're asking like how many times I draw a week or how many hours I draw a week, I don't. I don't really have like a set amount of time and um, I, I start streaming uh, my drawings like a few months ago like back in March this year and before that okay before that I don't really draw like constant consistently I don't really draw consistently before that I draw from time to time, you know, whenever I feel like to. But uh, since I started streaming back in March, I, I draw more consistently than before. That I can tell you that. Uh, yes. See this? <laughs> yep. Uh, Bristol board is um, very thick. I I don't recommend you draw some things, you know, some paper like so thin that is easily e easily uh, tear off or you know get damage. I don't recommend those kind of paper. So you should draw draw on some quality paper. <laughs> So where do you live, bro? Um, if if you live closer, we can even meet in real life. You know, we can act even uh, you know become real life friends and and share our experience on drawings. You know. So far away, man. I live in Cali, bro. <laughs> uh, North Cal, East Bay, so... Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, man. 
you can always watch me live, you know. Internet's our best best friend nowadays. Do you have uh, friends that also likes uh, drawings? Because um, you know, one of the best way to learn is like you have friends that also share the same uh, interests. You know, one of my friends also likes drawing, and uh, we used to talk a lot and share our experience. You know, what's good, what's not good. And yeah, it's one of the best way to learn, you know, just learn from each other. Yeah, learn from each other. And if you have friends that also likes drawing, you know, also want to like, also interested to, uh, you know, watch me draw, you know, feel free to share my channel to, you know, the more the merrier. <laughs> It's always uh, good to, you know, have someone, you know, share the same interests, you know, and, you know, and, um, 
when somebody watch me draw, you know, on live yeah, and have, have some conversation with me, it always make my time go faster. Might take away a little bit my concentration though, but it definitely make my time go a lot faster. <laughs> Oh, um, you mean the reflection? Yeah. <laughs> eyes, uh, drawing eyes is definitely one of the hardest. Um, because eyes is, you know, it affects the whole uh, emotion, the whole feel of, you know, the person. So, yeah. But uh, it's not as hard as you might think as long as you, you know, put in the time. You draw things very precisely as long as you do that. It's not as hard as you think, but it's definitely uh, one of the hardest part when drawing a portrait. And definitely, the, you know, one of the most important uh, areas. Uh, the next one would probably be the mouth because that also affect you know have a huge impact on the emotion and, and the whole feel of, of, of the uh, the person so yeah you, you just gotta take your time and you know draw very carefully try not to make you know a mistake. And uh, yeah, it's this reflection to that um, pretty much is this reflection that um, makes the eye feel uh, realistic and three dimensional. So yeah, you just gotta put in the time. Uh, I really don't know what to say and what else to say. Without this uh, white part, without this reflection, the eyes will just look flat. So, yeah. And even though um, you're drawing with pencil, right? Even though you can erase, you should still uh, be very careful and try not to make a mistake. Because um, when when you make some when you make a mistake, and then you you realize that it cannot be fixed, you pretty much burn your piece right there. Okay, that that's called burning a piece. You make a mistake that it cannot be fixed <laughs> then you have to throw the whole thing away and start all over again which is something you really don't want and I'm pretty sure everyone you know every artist has burned quite a number of pieces before <laughs> including me um, I actually didn't burn that much but I, I did burn a good number of pieces before you know, a few, I would, I would say. So, um, yeah, it's part of the learning experience, but just try to avoid, you know, make some fatal mistakes that it cannot be fixed. Try, try not to do that. Because um, yeah, you spend like so many hours and you make some mistakes and 
it cannot be fixed and you gotta throw the whole thing away and start over again yeah that sucks that really sucks but it's part of the learning experience uh, everyone experienced that before I'm pretty sure <laughs> even the best artists in the world had it pretty sure everyone experienced that before <laughs> Damn, it's already 10 o'clock, see? But I, I started at uh, almost 9 9.30 tonight, so... But uh, time goes really fast and... When you concentrate on one thing, you know, you just keep focusing on your drawing and time go really fast. And especially have you know some somebody talk to you. So yeah, thanks. Thanks for watching and having this conversation with me. It always make makes my time go faster. So did you do a uh, job often? Okay, um, I have... I don't know that person. <laughs> Is there uh, also a sport person now? Like sport stars? So I don't really watch sports. <laughs> I say uh, if you're um, a, a beginner, I, I don't know what where your level is at, I don't know where you're at, or how good you are at drawing, but um, if you're a beginner and I don't think you should try something um, uh, ridiculously hard. I believe everyone should stay out of comfort zone, to get out, get out of the comfort zone. Uh, you know, have some challenge, yeah, and that's where the uh, learning comes from. But don't draw something too hard for you. Don't try to, uh, you know, climb the mountain in, you know, one day or something. So um, if it's like a beginner, I definitely don't recommend drawing something like this, what, what I'm drawing. I definitely don't recommend they draw something like this. I would recommend they draw like, uh, you know, something easier, like drawing a rose, you know, a flower, so they get practice with different tones and uh, the transition, you know, the different values from light to dark. I would suggest that instead of uh, go straight to uh, drawing a portrait, which is not not easy for any beginners. What was the um What is the um longest uh time you spend on on one piece? I think that kind of give me an idea of how, how where where you at. The longest time you spend on one piece, like like what is it?
Oh man. No, what what was the longest time you ever spent on one on one piece? I what, like how how long was it? The longest time you you spent on one piece? I think that kind of give me an idea how good you are. <laughs> Three hours. Oh man, three hours only? <laughs> you guys spent a little bit more than that, man. <laughs> you guys spend, you guys spend actually way more than that. Way more than three hours. <laughs> three hours is really nothing, I'm telling you. So yeah, don't try to draw something so uh, insanely detailed, like so overwhelming for you. Try to draw something easier, but uh, just a little bit outside your of your comfort zone. Okay, so that's what that's my uh, recommendation for you. <laughs> okay. Okay, sure. And I can even do like um, a live stream a feedback critique with you, you know, live stream on live. If you're interested, we can schedule a time.
And so as, as you can see, um, it's already 10, 10, 16, okay, almost an hour, and I still haven't done much. I was pretty much just polishing all this area. So yeah, it's it always gonna take a lot of time, and so you need to have the patience and and passion to get the job done.
So I'm gonna end the stream now, okay? Um, I'm not sure I'll continue this tomorrow, but if it's not tomorrow, then will be the day after tomorrow. And uh, 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So thank you for watching. I will check my email if I see the uh, get, a draw, get your drawing. And uh, I'm gonna end the stream now. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.